right, so we rejoin I Octane. No, Octane, I'm telling you, your start to road to success, giving us your journey from childhood and explaining the challenges and the difficulties. It is now helping us to understand evil better. When you say my life no easy like one, two, three, the challenges that mm -hmm. you had to endure as a as a as a child. Um so in continuing, you were talking to us about um you having to step up to play that father role and helping out your mom because your father was absent. Yeah, and and, and um um here we're going to. So I grew up, when I grew up, I never told me, you know, I never told into my father like that. You know, but when I grew up now, I get big now, I understand, say, yo, them time, them time there, and it, it, it wasn't internet, never, we never connect to the internet like this. And him live at St. Elizabeth, my mother live in Clarendon, because she have to work at Clarendon, and then now, we have to, we have to take bus to St. Elizabeth, like every end of year, because him live there. And then maybe a telegram them time when you send a letter, it takes weeks and it takes months and it takes all of these things. So I was just looking through the, through the mirror of my friends them around me because everything was around me to show me what I don't have. So I wasn't looking at the glass half full. I was just looking at it at half empty, like what I don't have. So, you know, during days, during natural, like playing football, I was excellent at that. Um... You know, by the time before I knew that I was going to pursue a career in music always in the community, I was excellent as that. So whenever I do those things, plus I was very brilliant. My, my mother kids them very brilliant with less, um, with less opportunity to, to get the advanced version of education. So it was just naturally have that brightness within myself. We, 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 catch, we capture things quick. So, um... You know, that was just a reminder. So I was like, yo, God, no, why me? But then no, I started to ask, why not me? So I started to embrace, embrace the things that around me like that. You know, so even now, I don't even watch TV because I don't use to it. Once I turn on the TV, it's like it put me to bed. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and these things, I never grew up with it. I don't keep birthday parties. I don't celebrate birthdays. When me I work, me always tell her it's a rare. At the time when me and Ria work, it's a rare. Every birthday, make sure you put me on a show. Every Christmas, make sure me I work somewhere in the world. Because I don't know how to, to, to accept it. Because me not grew up with it. Me not grew up doing it. Me not grew up doing it. Mm -hmm. And as I grew up being a, a humanitarian like that, me always had some type of chores on that day. So as I growing up, so I mean, like my boss now, I need to do something because I'm going to feel like I'm going to live, like, you know what I mean? So I them, them type of life that I live, like, no lotion for wow. skin and these things. Mm -hmm. And um, the same shoes I'm wearing, go to school, or the same shoes I'm wearing, go out and, you know, all of these things. So a lot of people say, a lot of people say the journey, but I don't really talk to them thing because... That mold me into the individual that I am today. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So um I the only the only problem, the only, one of the major problems that I have in in that situation, I wanna look, I wanna look in, in, in terms of society and how imperative we don't understand that how important it is to to actually have that sound male figure around here. I don't use stuff, I use the stepfathers. You understand? So, um, my mother never gave me a lot, but, you know, we never really, he was there, but we never really need, we need the, the, the direct love from that person because you have a significant day, like mm -hmm. your birthday, you have a significant day, like Christmas, and you have certain day where it reflects family-oriented vibes, so you never see it. So, what it do for me in the long, in the long term, I'm getting better now, I always tell you this, Kish, it turned me into a provider more than a father figure, like, you know what I mean? Because I'm always the on the road. So I provide for my kids, the man. I don't grow up learning how to be that father, like that passionate, effective father, because I never get it. So you have to learn from the way. And me learn, mm -hmm. so I grow up, my mother buy my own shoes, I feel good, I feel a sense of purpose. You know, I get this, I feel. So we start to grow and say, all right then, kids don't want a book, they don't want a clothes, they don't write with money. All right, he's a good father. But then now you find out that there's certain 
minute details that is needed that that that, that ingredient mm-hmm. that is needed like communication like you know people they must be in that feel good expressing yourself and you know what i mean and, and hear their perspective and where they're coming from and these things so it's it, it more than just being providing just for the child and I've, I've been doing that for years before I started saying, I was say, because when you grow up, you know, I tell you a lot of people say, yo, the reason why we're having so much crime and violence now, because you know, look how we have a lot of broken individuals like me at the initial stage. Mm-hmm. And the soundtrack of my existence was my music. When I started to sing music, when I was going to school, as well, I said, I'm the brightest student in the class for years, right? And I deliberately put by myself like, Third. The first time I come first was a nightmare for me because then I have to give a, a public Why? speech in the school oh. because I was so insecure. And then now it's like when we go in front of the people, them is like it release some enzyme in my body and my brain, brain starts shut out and then I start to lose my voice and lose my sound. So it was fear. The fear, the fear start to de- drive this thing because I have to face my peers in front of me. And then me I look for my shoes, my shoes cut out. I look for all of these things and I feel like I'm the less fortunate to always be in the back of the crowd. Like, and then I celebrate my greatness through people. You know, mm-hmm. I've been doing that for years, like celebrate my greatness through people, not through me. So mm-hmm. my, my friends, my, one of my friends, them will go and then we boom um, and, and, and say the right answer. Or I don't do that subject, but then we link me, I'm going to help them with it and then pass and then come and say, yo, I'm pass, you know, I'm going to feel good and say, all right, yeah, at least me help you, so I'm going to feel good doing that, but me, for me, go in front of the crowd mm-hmm. and do it, I never have that. So when I find music, now music becomes a soundtrack of my existence where, all right, me are the only person I do music at school, so I'm going to become the cool kid now where, yo, Muir, sing a song, yo, I'm going to have a song, make up a song, I'll fight, so. I always stand out. So I say, all right, then that means I'm in need for the music because I can use this avenue to alleviate myself from stress. Who do mm-hmm. understand that? To express myself. See? So I start to write my songs, then I start to do my songs, then. and then I start to say, all right, then this is the avenue I need because whenever I'm in a, any form of situation, I could just go and sing some music and it's like it distract my shoes and it distract my clothes, set in a cool and it distract. Say so I couldn't press mm-hmm. at the time I put three different seams and I'm a pants and you know when I talk about pressing a tissue, I'm mean, tell you about mm-hmm. fire coal. Like my mother used to buy some iron where she 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 you have to light the fire coal and put inside the iron. I put oh yeah yeah. You put it inside the iron and wipe off the iron in the dirt, and then use one cloth and wipe it off. And that's how you use press your clothes. See? And then my mother used to work at some place now where she gets some, some iron with the people that they use and cut off the card like the electrical iron and put that mm-hmm. on the coal and make that warm and that we use to use press for clothes and these things. So, you understand? Whenever we have our water stick or rain fall and we have... Mm-hmm. Like, we never have like we up to when we had be a teenager. Mm-hmm. Never have like we up to where I was a teenager so I never really see it necessary like that. You know what I mean? Like, put it apart. So, my always like, put these things aside. You hearing me, right? Yeah, I'm hearing you. So, so Oxane, even though you have experienced all of these things, you still, and, and, and you said that, you know, fear took you over at some moments. You still managed to, having that desire in your heart, and you attended briefly Knox Community College with a focus on um, architecture. But then ultimately you dropped. I got to school. I was I was brilliant in school. So I was, after I left Garvey, then I got to Knox. You know what I mean? Because and I did two year diploma in science, which I get that I also doing architecture. I leave high school with like thirteen um subjects. Mm-hmm. I have like four PhDs in my school now. So my eye is bright. You know what I mean? So after when I leave Knox, then. I apply. Now my mother applied a student loan. Like if she had to get a student loan, and she's not qualified. She's a vendor. She don't have a, 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 a job. That is not a job. Mm. So I decided, wow. to, you know what? I'm not going to be a non-progressive element. And there, that is where I started. Then I need to do music fully. But at first, I was just doing music because I have to tell my friends, eh? I mean, I work on construction. I carry the block them. I start work on highways. 
time I mean, I lift up the thing then. But when I go, I be a DJ, so they use them for it, for it. They use the music if you do community music. Me, I lift me, I mix the cement them. But just not feel right to that mind. Just feel like yo, I don't mean. Mm-hmm. So, um, I never really have it like that. So, you know, I get the student loan. So I write then music. But so I come a studio. I come a studio. Then I say me have to bust it. Then so it's not an iron balloon. And then it take a while because. My, my, the narrative that I have in my head about music and great because I know my talent, talented, but then I start to love music different because I start to walk. I to take bus from Clarendon to town. The night, I leave from town, back to Clarendon and go back. So I used to walk it from Alfred Street to Transling Road, Bike Road, all about me to walk up and down because I never have the fear. One fear me have. So, but the sun will be very hot, but I not feel it because I use it to write my songs then. You know, mm-hmm. and meditate. Song. It is now five minutes after one o'clock. If you're just joining us, it's all about Road to Success, the journey. And today we are on the journey with Viomi Muir, I, Octane. Now, Octane, before we went to the cash pot break, you were talking to us about Knox College and um, making that transition, mixing the cement, still singing music. You're not feeling passionate about what you're doing because music calling you. Um, how did you ev- eventually, as a teen, you met Donovan Germain? How did that happen? Um, you meeting Penthouse Records CEO? Well, um, I was going to studio, going to studio, and then um, um, I, I never, I never forgot. I, I go and slide through. Slide through? No, I just, I just slide through. It's young. Um, Near near TVJ. What are the road name? I don't remember what the road name, but I know which yeah, road they are talking. Right, that's right. Yeah. That person, the owner, stood up and climbed and so. I was like, yo, come at the studio, man. So I went to the studio. You know what I mean? I did from in the morning, like from in the morning, still somebody forward. I saw the almighty work still, you know. Like a person forward now for do. I shan't them with them. Forward in the morning. Side. Because them places don't really have like trees and shade and so the sun has to have to stand up in the sun. So they deliberately don't make any form of comfort zone at the studio at the time because they don't want nobody to hang out. I have to stand up mm-hmm. in the, the sun the whole day. So I was just there. The sun, the sun never existed to me. That's one thing from my mind. I remember I don't know me, I walk through every garrison, I walk through jungle, me, I walk through Rima, me, I walk through everywhere. Me, I walk through them, start to get to know me. Me, I'm one of the artists that very, very, so I start to develop. So, you know what I mean? That city, yeah, um, Comradery. Mm-hmm. Then I'm like, yo, look at that. I was there waiting on a person, the person, I see me on the camera, and I'm not really the same in the mind. So, Time the Almighty sent a youth named Terence McDonald here. He was going upstairs. Um, something with the next artist, and then when he done, he was like, Yo, what is the whole entire day? Yo, when the son of the artist see me, but you don't know me really feel much. The artist is a man, so I started to sing him. I said, Yo, yo, what? You know, I must say, Yo, something saying, I'll hunt me there, I'll hunt it and sing, and I must say, Yo, sorry. And say, yo, put more me, I got still enough. So, I got to link up with people in my area. Everybody, I'm going to wait for you. And say, yo, you know, look at you. You see what you're not feeling in my inside. Right, put more. Reach up, put more. And then I got to see and see and see and And boom. And the night, now I'm sorry, they might drop me a clarinet. So, they drop me a clarinet and I say, yo, you got a good youth and thing, you know what I mean? So, then I work with the next artist. Reflect, you know, big of yourself. I'm right, my mind, so and then you just start to link, start to do my thing, and you want to say, All right, then help you, and I'm gonna help you. I manage an ex artist, but you know, I try so much, and then you become that person where you know, I mean, care about the rest, and true that me meet Marcia Simpson, and then Marcia Simpson, now like, Yo, my love, you know, you're young, you're cute, and. It was nice and thing, but you know, I mean, I really, I mean, I really 
manage DJs, you know, singers, because them time they, you know, Bushman, she like, she manage a lot of big artists and things and things and things. So. Mm-hmm. But I have somebody for you. And she linked me up on Jeremy and I said, you know, my artist and Jeremy. All right, man, say anybody else they call me Marie. And then we went down there and I did the audition. Jeremy wasn't there. I treated some with them bones, the engineer at the time. And when he come and call about Marcy and say, yeah, man, the kid bad, man, him bad, he could come and do that. Just get the opportunity. You know, I start going to Pentos now. I just went to school and the man like, would you bear it? Queen of Africa. All type of people, I start upgrade from personal life, you know? Mm-hmm. I just say, all of the great people, them, man. I had to just listen, you know, and sing. And at the time, I have a girl in the office named Raquel. All these are inspired me. Big of us, Raquel. Raquel was like, yo, you never know, bust, you know. So at the time, me, I used the name Richard. So Queen mm-hmm. and Rika come at the studio one time and say, yo, yo. When I listen to your song, then you know, you're too powerful. Where I go with that Richard name? You have a fire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fire mama, so I'm going to have a fire different name. I was like, what's that name? So anyway, I'm going to go and do my retreat thing. I mean, I said, all right, I'm going to try to put out one song with a name. Find a different name. So anyway, today I go and mess around the same thing. One day, I'm going to go through the dictionary and me and bones. I'm going to say, the word acting. I read the definition for acting. And it means, mm-hmm. right? And I was like, yo, are you that in a car? Is I use the car selective, but anytime you go up on stage or anytime you go in at the box, people have to turn on and say, No, let me do that. Don't just sit on yourself. So it's like an Actimus Prime is like a transform. Mm-hmm. It was like I act and I was like, No, I don't want to do the H I G H. I want to do I like I myself, the character, the stuff, the way you speak about. Mm-hmm. And the I to it. You know what I mean? And that's how we come by the name. Tell me that they are good things and you know they're Jeremy and things, but at the time Jeremy was over occupied by you know Buju, assassins and stuff, all of the team player. You know, they, 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 so I was there, I was I give thanks, I was there because me have this thirty million dollar skill that me this disposal. And him mm-hmm. provide him own engineer for me so me can learn more and stuff like recording skills. And I was getting that free of cost. That's why mm-hmm. everywhere I'm going to the room, I'm big up and I'm on Jeremy because he's a famous turn on a man's studio right now. My own studio and it, uh, my engineer, everybody there, my young artist, them and everybody, they are Jamaica users and I went to them turn on the studio there. I mean, I use it to meet the, the monthly and when it gets the same as a peer, then you start mm-hmm. to look into these things because a lot of people don't understand gratitude. A lot of people don't understand that when a person with more resources do something for you, not because them want to do it or them can do it, but them do it. So if you have to show appreciation, you understand? So I started to look on the glass half full instead of half empty. So people was like, yo, Jeremy, can't put your pan in rhythm, man. And look at your body. And I said, mm, I should be on those rhythm, yeah. But I have a big studio, I utilize the studio, I develop my craft. So you know what? Mm-hmm. You know what? Even if Jeremy not gonna be the person who put me out into the world, get get my career after this, I'm gonna get a complete artist. Okay, so I you know, like when you look funny that way, you know. And as someone start to record, record, record every day, and record till Jeremy do that. So me and I two albums for me. <laughs> well, so so, so I'm saying. So that transition now from Penthouse Records to Arrow's Recording Company, um, take us to that defining moment in, in your music career. No, before that, you see, before that, I used to go up on one place named um, Princeville, where I met a youth named Mr. G. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He used to goofy at the time, the artist Mr. G. Mr. G used to have his record label and... Scatter is to have his record label up. Same with like Princeville, and then you have Marcia Simpson Marcia. next door. I literally them place. You have Scatter Marcia and Mr. G. So Mr. G is the phone studio below. So when I go to Mr. G, you know, Mr. G will say, Yo, we are the police artist me here in the, in the last. 
came and said, yo, you're the only artist in here where you can sing. You can sing J and you can DJ and you sound different from every different track. So if you sing J, you sound different from your from your sing and you sound different from when you DJ. Three different personality may I hear. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, you have to go rock to him. Mr. Ross, you are Eddie, Mr. J. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, man. Them fire the way I spit out of your mouth. No. I go take on and take it from you. I said, listen to you, mad man. And them are neat pants and them are clean. So, no. And, yo, I'm going to tell you, it, it unfold. Look at me there, Mr. J. I'm a record team. And then one night, I meet a youth named Rod Pino. No. So, Rod. Meet Rod Pino, my DJ, you know, my artist now. My, my manager, you name. We do. You know, my jeans and my Timbaland. Reagan and Reagan. I don't remember the youth name, but one of them is there. Mm-hmm. So, Rod Pino, they must go, Arrow. And Rod say, I forward. But before that, Mr. G say, Yo, you're the body sing J. You're the body's complete artist, but you're the body sing J. I say, Yeah, man, I'm the body's artist, but me, every artist. And I say, No, man, never do. I can, you know, I can. I say, No, man, never do. I can, I do. I'm going to be the body's DJ, and you're going to be the body's sing J. And I saw me, I do, and I match. I said, Boy, that's how it starts, come on. You know what I mean? I was starting to do the DJ, made the things are ready. But then I met Rad Pinock where Rad Pinock said, you know what? For Arrows. So then I go, Arrows go vice his artist. And he said, you may forward. And then when I go, Arrows now, the night I meet you. He never vice the night. I don't know why he never vice. He just never in the mood and he never vice. But the rhythm I play it. So I'm just in the music while I start to hum something and um, Judah said, yo, how is you this? Are you the body, man? <laughs> and it, yeah, and I must say, yo, we are working. I say, you know what? Um, this is my situation with Jermaine because I'm loyal to Jermaine, but I mean, mm-hmm. if I get an opportunity forward, forward, I'm going to work. I have to go to Jeremy and tell him the, the transition of me and me because I believe in transparency. You have to, you have to understand? And all right, I want to work with you and thing and thing and thing and so all right then. So I go to Jeremy and Jeremy and Art Link Junior and say, Yo, oh. if you have to take my artist, make sure you say, Make sure you say, All right, I'll make sure you say, All right, and then it's all right, I'm the transition and then Junior and, and Junior start to work and thing and and this be my friend. Tell out the ghetto, you to bed. And we start to walk down town and thing. And people used to tell me, say, yo, Arras, you can't go Arras, Arras, nah, but like, yo, Arras, company, don't have beer things. And I say, all right, then, out of bad, we come to you. So make sure to make it a distance from here. So, and we used to go Arras, and we alone, we alone the Arras for the whole day, like me alone. And mm-hmm. now, the energy when we start to put around there, just the message and all these things come. Is a youth always want to walk through them. So I start to walk through the garrison to them, like I used to walk through Dunkirk. So the first energy I start to have up on Bryden Street with some youth and Bray Street and Black Street and Sight and 110 and Top everywhere. You know, I used to link with that youth, I used to So that youth that was one of the general in the place. And that youth that loved me and thing, you know what I mean? And, Right, that's so all like the youth them start to respect me. And the energy just start to spread and then you have black street down there. So no matter where the garage, the gangster them are doing. You have a youth them telly back on them youth, they were bad bad youth just to go out beat things. They miss look and they miss cool. You know what I mean? And then over the next side now, you know, the youth them rich binds. Well if I youth said fast and gone, but they never used to deal. And I me mean, used to just go through the place and everybody used to just link and I used to walk from here so I go over the street and I managed to say, yo, make sure you say, all right, I'm too enemy this, you know. Mm-hmm. Crazy. And I started to tell myself, no, you have a sense of purpose, you know, because them money, naturally, them money, you know, the fire shot off of each other, but two, me dead, and no man not do them thing. And we find a song named, say, look, the ghetto, you to dead. And the song started to play, and they say, yo, that you, that, you know, that you, that you, that. And then I did a collaboration with Texas and Gun Rise one day. And then them two songs just started to play enough. Started start to play enough, started to play enough. And then now, um, started to, start to get the traction from the people. Then, but 
know, you never do no video yet, so people are here. But they don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. Sorry about that. You hear me now? Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Them no know say you. You know what? I never used to do no videos. So people are here mm-hmm. to sing them. I know about me. I'm on a bus. I hear the people that want to sing their song. I'm going to say, you time boy. But them no know say me. Mm-hmm. But if I want to one time and say a girl and say, yo, my like a girl, say, like me, and then we go use the I card, and she has to say, I have to take a tech bus. <laughs> you got a girl in Mars. <laughs> wow. You know, but then no. we start to look for it and say, all right, then. I'm not to all of my, my existence in my persona because. I want people to just like me for acting alone. Let me say no one get to know me. So that's mm-hmm. why I start to do these things and you know what I mean? Start to link with the people. For hours and then hours become one of the places when I start going to know the place full of acting bus and acting song and playing. You know, artists got to forward you now and people start to do things. Here and you know what I mean? And, and, and the place start to get active. Mm. That never really worked out. And then I say, all right, then, you know what? I never signed to nobody again. Mm. No, you know, listening, listening, listening to you talk, um, Octane, you know, um, for anybody who knows your catalog, you know, you, your diverse body of work proves that from your era, you are mm-hmm. one, if not the only artist who dominates every aspect of our music from hardcore dancehall to lovers rock and roots reggae, how how difficult was it to position your career so you are not placed in a box or defined as an artist who only um, does reggae or or dancehall? It's a shame I'm going to say this. I'm going to say it live on your live on, on this platform because it's a need for ears. Every artist will establish a diverse career them go me upon the loan them, them supposed to pay a bitch to me and I say it and take the credit because when I start the amount of fire when I get you know that fish you was there you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. fire every year the majority of the, of the, of the, of the, of the platform them beat my body instead of give me credit you act and go and go there me that give me the but they have the direction Somebody I highlight it, but still I ridicule the right show and then see the narrative right show for my career years, year upon year, bully for platform. See, I'm for the spirit. And I said, Why am I not doing it? As a reggae, you have to do it. I have to do reggae, but I said, But I don't want to do reggae alone. I like reggae alone. You know, you have big dance class, you have big RMB, you have big college, you have every channel, but a reggae, you have to do so from the initial stage, because vampire boss, everybody just want to put me in a reggae box and put me in a reggae box and put me in a reggae box. But my fight over the years and fight over the years and they fight, fight, fight over the years until them say, yo, I am that loyal. For artists now can do both genres and people and I really cost them what I mean. When me, when me say, yo, all right, Rastafari, but here we go on. I don't know that compass box something. I don't know that. Me have straight jeans and me think them look good and red. Yo, I'm on a rasp too pretty. I'm locks too red. Right now, I can't find a straight jeans in none of the store. Then every man stand with them and tell them a rasp the same way. Every man here curly up and well do a nice and every man red. And me get bun for that. Yes! The man of that, the man of this, the man of that. And now everybody come back and do the same thing. Yo, I'm going wear this out blue as well. I'm wear that. Every man I wear blue now. I'm going wear this out like every man, every man. I wear my chain every man I wear. I did have a vision just like when I just enter into the music. I tell myself, say, youth, you will never be the best dancer. Lad. Even now, I'm the best performer out of the new school. I'm not giving me that. In no matter which mm-hmm. forum I'm going, I've never done a stage show in Jamaica. I represent dancer and reggae music. Best ability. 1000%. You know, you have no other new artist who do that. See? I was the first artist and the only artist who made the transition We can give the new artists a platform to be the dominant person at the night because me I go a stage show for me at five with my mother. My mother smuggled me and I chop all in the weed. And mm-hmm. I watch when one particular them boss are artists or a new artist and them close the show them fish. And, them are the and last you know, as you work. 
as you as you mentioned that uh, octane it brings me to my next question because you made history in dance hall opening the door at some fest 2013 and 2014 for a new generation of show closers and today you know you even though you said they don't give you the credit but the reality is you are named among the best performers in dance hall what was it like though preparing um to fill the shoe of great performers, like you mentioned, you, you watch Bounty Killer, you watch Beanie Man, Capleton, and, and other greats. Like, when you got that mantle to close some fest? As I read a lot, Kishima, I read that quote, I say, yo, when you get things wrong, you don't grow. When you get things right, you don't grow. You have to get things wrong. Mistake is what you grow from. That you turn in. Yes. Let us get up every day and get run and get right you get complacent you don't grow a lot of things that we use in now even this you know mistakes they met before me and you can talk doing a zoom and me i see you and you are see me and then i hear me on the radio at the same time so mistake is something that you turn into lesson you know what i mean so i know me i go stage from me and say yo me from my perspective i think in my eyes it getting played out in my eyes for just now. Say, yo, every man we at one work two o'clock. It hard for Bounty and Beanie them heavy year. The same man them Cape Town Sizzler, Bounty Beanie, just for name Bojo, just for name a few them great man there. What well, all the great people there? There is everybody. Some of them nobody take it personal, but mm -hmm. you know, be the highlight of the show every year and you mash up the place because you are the highlight that you people want to see. Is it you make it or you don't make it? But people come out, you are the most intriguing character for the night because we've been every year and then being at the close show and do a super, super, superb job, bounty all of them, but them are still. But when them youth they are bust, them youth they take it over from Shabbat, they are ready. Some of them decide to say, No, I'm not going to be like him. I can't be the artist artist in Jamaica or the artist artist around the world place and don't do it. I have to do it. Is he either going to break me or either going to make me? You understand? Mm. I just tell the musician and when I just tell good Johnny say, yo, yeah man, we close it. And he was like, Yeah, sure, I said, yeah. And when Mr. said, May I close it, the same music business again. You understand? It's like a 20, 15, 20, 15, 85. Yo, what is yo, I'm over hype, I'm this and that, but they never really see the vision in my heart. And no so I try to break the cycle where artists don't feel like me have to work at this particular spot because I don't want to be outshine and who I work after me more outshine them. That was the mentality. Me don't want to be outshine and who I work mm -hmm. before me after me more outshine them. And you know, what I mean, it's a competition, but you still have to make sure that the, the presentation of the whole entire thing still work. So this is this is the 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 the, 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 the perspective that I have. Then let's do it, and it work. I'ma do it, and it work. And then them approach me again and I say, yo, all right then. We never do it, but pray it never work out because, you know, and then you know what I mean? And then I started to do it everywhere and everybody started to say, All right, you can do. Then they find out the artist with prominent songs, start to do it and do it. You know what I mean? Just like when we enter the business, I tell myself that, you know what? What is missing from the business? And the business side was missing from the business. Because me have POB, me advance in business. So I say, all right then. I cannot be the best reggae artist. Because Bob Marley is the best reggae artist. There's mm -hmm. nobody can pass Bob Marley from iTunes. No time. No matter where you do. If you go there for two weeks, I guarantee you the other week you're going to come out. See? Um, mm -hmm. um, the best consistent and the best dance style artist, whether the people like it or not, you have other people who like other artists and other cult fam. What it was derived from Vibes Cartel, which is a new era. So the best dance style artist currently, and for being for a long while, is, right. is the, the, the amount of work is there to show. The rate of songs, the rate of hits, the, um, the rate of creative creative words, um, how prolific, you know, is there. You know, mm -hmm. one of artist that, that is damning. Whether you like this amount or that amount, the truth is the truth. So the best dance artist in terms of lyrics and songs and Ray, not in terms of performance, but Ray, him. But unfortunately, Cartel is the face, but him still there jail, unfortunately. Big up Adi. Him can represent the dance artist in physical form. 
Mm-hmm. So, me decide that I don't want to be the best dancer artist and I don't want to be the best reggae artist. I just want to be the best I am team. Because when we the Burger King beside KFC, two of them sell the same thing, but them not fight against them one another, two of them coexist, right? Mm-hmm. So if them sell the same thing and them successful at what them doing, then why cannot do the same thing and still be successful at what I'm doing? So I studied the business and I said, okay, a lot of artists are born corporate. But when I do a stage show, I have 45 artists. And it goes and don't have the budget to pay for 45 artists. When I look into those things, I was like, okay, that is why I have product placement. When you're going to a venue, you say, 300 corporate company banners are about and then the main stage have the biggest brand behind your head every night where you perform. Those things was paid for and the money where corporate people involve, invest uh, that mm-hmm. promoters use to offset a lot of the cost it cost them to pay you. So, bond corporate, a man say bond Pepsi, but Pepsi pay you. Because Pepsi just get the promoter 20 million and out of the 20 million you get five. So I mean, mm-hmm. if it's for my own personal benefit, like I don't want to drink no soda, then that is different. But for just bonnet because it's a corporate brand, why? You understand? So these are the things where enough artists couldn't just take with me because I'm mean, not just jump and bond things and jump and do things. Me do and me, me, me analyze it first before me mm-hmm. do it. You think for I'm yourself. Yes, I have to preach for myself because sometimes we burn some things. I'm on the bond plane, but you're not flying at the back of the plane. A first class yeah, fly. A man say bone car where you drive a bench. So why you mm-hmm. bone? I can't understand that. I couldn't fathom it. So, so I just go straight to corporate because no artist. I'm the only man. The only man black man here with the rasta we ever signed to corporate for almost 10 years. Mm-hmm. We ever signed to 13 corporate companies for almost 10 years. Only. No, nobody has ever done that before with say rasta. And I'm the only person where went there with my contract. So when I start to work with corporate, them give me a contract. I said, okay, when my brand built, developed to a certain extent, then we renew, renew, renew. Mm-hmm. You will review renewing the contracts. Yeah, I will go back over the contract and things. So, um, because at first, it was like, we are going to help you, but we have something where you reach out to. I don't want to be you have a help. I want to be two and merge together so I can have my perspective too. You know what I mean? And then we develop my brand till we start to give them my contract. Like, all right then, we understand what I say. But real, here we go and real. Don't no corporate company don't mess with my creative process and my creative anything I'm a create. Don't write mess with my writing. So that's why I could sign to every corporate company, but still sing Bossa Blanc and still sing my songs then. You understand? Mm-hmm. Because don't ramp the creative process. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I just take the money. Just limited um, process to, my, to, to the brand. Because that is where everything derived from. And, and you know, you've, you've, you've always I'm said that. You, all of these things, eh? you've, you've always said that though, Octane. You've always referred to um, yourself as a brand, brand octane. Um, what do you on go on TV? Go do that. The brand octane. We can remember when Winford said, What do you mean? The brand? I said, Yes, I'm not an artist, I'm a, I'm a businessman. The brand mm-hmm. I octane. You know, what, what, what do you what what do you um understand now about building financial wealth that you didn't know then? Well, um First of all, building financial wealth is very imperative because the most, the more, the more, the more finance you are, the more stable you are as an individual because a barter system, we're in a barter system where the more stable you are as an individual, the better talk you have. Your word mean more. Okay? The word mean more. So you can go into a store, oh yeah man, I him that and we do it. And I can just say, Go up a court and tell court to give this. Okay. Some work, work. Credible. While the next man you go and have to pay cash up front. You understand? So mm-hmm. it's really mean more. So I always know say it mean more. Um, um, for me, 
me learn because like a great like a lot of times like, like a couple of years well in my career when my, after my boss then we start to have problem keeping on the bill because I just have the cash but I never have resources so I just have people problem keeping on the business because me, but me as a youth where I give a lot of chances but once you mess up too much and then I just decide to that's it I don't talk back to you I don't have dealings with them I just done so people used to take them things personal and I never used to go up on the platform to express myself unless they make me mm-hmm. they mechanize and it get too big and then I have to address it one or two times. So people used to just change the narrative. Yeah, I can't stay that way. They're bad mind if you can do that. And then we used to say, but I am nothing like what them people say, but then I start to realize that I am a common denominator. I mean, if, I, if you are not the problem and you're the common denominator and you're still creating the problem, and the reason why those problems was to create those problems is because I never own a studio. I never had to produce for myself. I never had to master for myself. I never had to want to learn the music to a certain extent. So then I was dependent. I was dependent upon a person to create those things for you. And then you reach a certain pinnacle in your career. And then you decide to, oh, I don't want to work with that person anymore because them feel too entitled and them feel like they want to do certain things and step across them boundaries. Then them run to the media and say certain things and say certain things. So we start to learn and say, yo, you have to be more hands on and if you have to start managing yourself. So when I meet Ray and Ray I say, yo, I don't know manager and we work together. You say, yo, you have the biggest songs them but nobody don't know your face man. Your face. Bring up your face to your songs and so people know you. So we start to work and I manage myself when I'm a business partner, we work together and raise the listen. I'm not going to spend a dollar on you, you know. So, but you want a percentage, my boy, I'm not spend a dollar. I'm saying, hey, me, just pay me for when me work. I'm not going to spend mm. a dollar on you. But just pay me for when me work. You see, the money where I'm spend it for yourself. Don't ever sign to these corporates, but don't sign to none of them record company or none of them things, yeah, unless you and them are merged as a business partner. You're making is you're making sufficient money right now, and it might decelerate down at the end. But investing in yourself, the only person you're gonna owe is yourself. Mm. So listen to me. That bends the way you say you want scrap it out of your mind. Go and go buy one under one or one carola or one Toyota or something. As Benz make a year, and I was like, yo, that the whole man is wise enough. Him laugh. So that's why I never invest in a car. I start to buy places like invest in a two little apartments. Then I get one, then I get two, then I get three. Then I just know, so, all right, then you know what? I start to accept my own cost of them. So me and I'm on the shoot uh, 20, 20 videos for the year. I mean, pay for them. I'm a pocket. So the bench money, me use it. I'm shoot my video them. So I had to say, yo, I've seen around the place down there everywhere. Just remember, say, me don't have on a chain around my neck. Me don't have no watch for me, and I don't have on a ring. And the ring money me take and invest a chain and me take. I remember I say, although you are sitting me around the place, okay. me a drive a car, me a drive a Honda, you are drive a Benz. So you are invest your money the wrong way. Me a invest back the right way. Plus people around you owe you. So at this now, when I'm big enough, them now buy back out them contract and become a business partner. Mm-hmm. Invest in them. Them always want the people them invest. And when they pay back down at the end, Problem. Mm-hmm. Understand? No. No. Artists alone go through it. Managers go through it. DJs go through it. Selectors go through it. Everybody. And you pick up an artist and you boss an artist and then an artist just turn for you. And all of the effort that we are putting at them just gone. You can't get a jingle. You can't get a job. You can't get a that. And, you know what I mean? A whole lot of people go through it from all different sides. But Mr. Speaker, mm-hmm. my it's, a, it's a... Yeah. No. You know there I mean? was so, a point... So, there, there was a point in your career um, where there were rapid releases of I Octane music and, you know, you were absolutely dominating the space. Now, while it certainly brings relevance in the moment, do you think that this has caused persons to underestimate how potent your songs are and the depths of your catalogue because it has passed so quickly? Yeah, man, people, people are going to do them things that you first. Of course, because watch it, the song them not really gets soaked like that again. When you run the place like 
a vibe for every other rhythm and these things are rare. Then it comes so fast where the producer will drop a rhythm next month again. And he will drop a rhythm next month again. This producer give you a strength when it just a break. So when they come with two, three, four other rhythm, it's hard for you to tell them no. Then you have four, five, six rhythm. Then the next producer help with the help you when you just start, boom. Then you alone have 14 songs that rotate. So then now you end up getting one each song out of 14 good songs. Okay? And it goes to play and to play and to play, but then you don't have no significant song out there with stand up mm-hmm. and red. You understand? So it's a blow over. That's why you don't have. For the last couple of years, I don't have one big, big reggae song or a big, big dance song because it's so disposable here. It come fast, it go fast, it come fast, it go fast. And the promotion is, is, and then the new generation of fans, I mean, attention span is so short. You know, you're promoting something mm-hmm. for two weeks, then it's, oh, that's an old man, one new. Then, and then now, <laughs> that was one of the things that started to affect the music and started to affect you now, where one of the dominant first. And then now after 2017, so you know what? I did, I think I did some first year there. 2016. Now I stopped the place and I'm going good. And in 2017, I think uh, 2017, I think maybe 2017. I never did 2018 or 2019. Uh, whichever way. Well, the last, sec- the second to last. 20, it was. Mm-hmm. Before this one where they give me the 10 year. And, uh, um, Track. After that song said, say, so, you know what, Ray? I'm going to ease off of the bag of vices. So if we find out if it's it like a two years, you know, really a year and only for acting. And people say, acting fall off, Ray. And I say, no, it's a collective decision that I make. Because after that song said, I'm going to find out, say, producers start to get the program from, from artists. I'm a couldn't involve in another something. One time, producers was... Artists used to just compete against artists, but producers never involved in that. So that's why Stephen could have produced a Movado and produced a cartel for the same rhythm. Good, good production, do the same thing up to today. You have the three artists, Movado, cartel, Alka, same rhythm. That is production. That's what I consider as production. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And you know, Sean is a. Um, uh, you know, you have Chaitan, you have, you have some producers. No producers. Mm-hmm. Eh? Mm-hmm. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, speaking about production, like Moods is your is your latest project where, you know, we're yeah, getting moods, a... Moods, but, 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 hold on, but, but before I reach Moods, Moods is my latest project, but mm-hmm. before I reach there, we start in terms of production. So I decided, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm going to build my own studio. And it took mm. me like almost two years to finish it, and I've been my own studio. So I never survived because me, me couldn't, me couldn't take them something out. Kishima wear. Me, me, me come a Iron, me yell up Kishima, but me can't yell up Brian, and me can't yell up Amber, and me can't yell up Biggie, and me can't yell up Pierre No, because me, you understand? No. Mm-hmm. So me never used to have my vibe to that product. Me couldn't bother with them something. So me start to produce for myself, and then now. Producers miss the vice for like me. The first time to produce artists, the vice for them, big artists and rare. Them stop sending me the rhythm them. So I say instead of it cost our inner my feelings about it, or being vindictive and being bitter about it and say certain things. Me just know that you know, you have your money, DJ, you create your own resources, start make rhythm for yourself and produce for yourself. And that is where I come up with Vegas mode. The first time we produce is me and Satin, um, Esco, version, big up yourself. Bright and me, a single, Conquer the Glow production. And then I did Vegas mode rhythm. We have Ding Dang Working Girl, a big song. They have Assassin and the rhythm. Want to kill a beanie man, me, Banks, um, the mm-hmm. Marco, you know, Wally for artists and rhythm. And then. Ra Ra. And then I put out a rhythm after. I put out an album after that, your name, Love and Life. It debuted number two on the Billboard chart. Right? And it went 20, number one in 21 different countries. Then Love and Life. And that album did well for me. I'm a tour it and Ray. And then I put out Rara already, me and Sheldon Kane. And me and my engineer started to produce you now. The Conquer the Glow production. And then, you know what I mean? That's where Active are derived from and, and Banks and Posh and Cryptic. I started to you know, involve. We have um, 
fully bad, fully bad first commercial song and me record it. You know what I mean? I, 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 when I left for the young artists, them same way, you have, you have at frost. You know, when you get the fight, I say, I want to pay frost. It's forward, man, the same fight. When I try and find out all these things, so I have the whole platform, then I go to bomb now and say, all right, you know what? Every time I work with people, man, they always rest, so I just do an album for myself in your mood. So I link mm. to your crazy, I'm like, you're crazy, you know what? I need an album. I need me to do an album in like four days, and I say, four days? So, yeah, wow. Man. So I'm saying, yo, four days? So yeah, I need to read him them. So he goes to Obama and send me some rhythm. I link him back and I say, I have conquer the globe slash J Crazy presents. And say, hey, I'll give me a, yeah, I'll give me some of the albums. So yeah, but then you have to them. So by right for me, make me I present the album. And then, you know, my, my father from Jamaica, I take like four, my voice one song with Barclay production up here. And then I go to Bam now for Jamaica and take four days like do it and then. You know, me link Jay, Jay Swede and Jay Swede forward and start record some of the song them and then me said, Jay Swede, give me some rhythm because Jay Crazy couldn't manage the load of work for me and keep. And then Jay Crazy, me and me started, Jay, Mr. Jay, Mr. Jay, Mr. Jay Swede, me, me I produce some of them songs too. You know what I mean? I could take the credit for myself, but I said, you know what I mean? Boom. And then, um, Big Zim Records, me sing a song for me, me like, me take that song that too. Good, good production. Next. Then we put my next on the album come and do a big remix the next so we'll advertise that. And then, you know, um Arms House record, me just invite them ever song with them like and you know me just and then Sparks, DJ Sparks, I make sure you hear the album because it was it's female oriented. And Sparks mm-hmm. was the first and the only DJ for years we had a DJ actually. The studio. You sing all about bad man song, you sing all about mad man song, you sing all about get a youth song, you sing poverty, you sing that, you sing a few girl song, you sing a few love song, and you sing all about reggae song. But you have a study of audience, you have to say, 85% of the audience are still female. Although you have to sing ganja song and every song, you find out how, how much a female them just love you without you just doing music. When you go out, female love you for you without a microphone there and and for years, me, I ignore it. And then I mm-hmm. come to the realization, say, you know what, true? The last set of stages, then we're going to start to watch the crowd. And I said, no, it's more female attended. So I say, you know what, true? And then I'm just, all right, I'm going to do an album like this. And then I just do the album, then I invite her to come hear it. Because I say, all right, I want she to do the present. She to present the album because she's been at tell me for years by right. And then she mm-hmm. listen to the face and say, yo, them songs are beautiful, but the album not done. So what do you mean? You say it's not done. You don't have no vulnerable song for the album. You don't sound vulnerable. You need one of those songs. You need a reggaeton song. And you need an Afrobeat song. And I said, whoa. And she said, oh, you also need a song with a girl that can gyrate them, them waist like. Give them something with them can, something with instruction. So, and then a vice mood. What she produce. And then a vice. The Afrobeat song, she and Jay Crazy and me produced that. Jay Sweet. Then um the um the the the, the um the reggaeton same thing because she sent me reference. You go on the internet and send me the reference mm-hmm. and, mm-hmm. and then we just when I stood and done it, so we just do it quick and then we start simple, mix this and master it and we do the final master of firing and then big up carry, carry she arm on it and then the next arm on it sing and then all of this offset from a from my pocket, but just go in my pocket and just do it instantly and pay with it, get clear and, and, and harmony singers, everything and the budget, I go sky and then Ray, I'm one student, so I have to just pay light bill and everything. I'm just do it in less than two weeks and then register it and get it up and get it running. So this is how, when it, this is how, when you have financial status and you put it in resources and you have your resources, mm-hmm. this is how you can re- rely on yourself. Wow. Rely on yourself and don't pre no producers when we help in the initial stage. They can still call me saying me. I'm still vice for them because they also help me to have a catalog. So wow. if they come and vice up on ten reading, I'm a hit for the ten reading. And then put out ten other readings. I mean never vice for it. Why am I for pre for the ten reading? Unless they don't have a growth mentality in your head. Because nobody obligated for you to vice and twenty reading. You eat up mm-hmm. a ten ready. You know, you take the ten ready money, go buy Shane and Benz. 
build one studio, Box. buy one computer, do your thing, start to create rhythms too. So if, if for instance, a prominent producer don't vice you and them good, you can build something in between that rhythm and put it out same way. See him? No, no, Octane. Same way. Can link them direct. In, in the interest of time, we're really going to have to fast forward, but your story is one that is rich and we, we will definitely have to do a part two. But um, you kind of alluded yes, to it. Tell you a lot of things. Yeah. It, it's, it's a lot, but um, what's the best part about being a dad? Because I know you have your children. Well, seeing them growing up, well, you know, the best, the best part, the best, seeing them growing up and, and them can, me and them can correspond, like call me every minute, every minute, me and them have video chat and them stuff. Them call me mm-hmm. and them bad me up and them do all type of things and want to say, them love when my belly big because them like sleep on my belly. One I say, yes, <laughs> I saw me for slim. The next one I say, me I get too maga. You know what I mean? So it, it's, just so, it's just so interesting to hear your bloodline. Their thoughts. And, and them look for you and them, them, them honor you and them love you. You know what I mean? And, you know, the relationship progressed and it grew and it me feel, you know, me grew and me learn. As a learning person, I still learn and I learn and I say, all right, then, oh man. Mm-hmm. One of the main things, though, I learned to them is an individual by themselves. Mm. So, I have to allow them to express themselves how they want to express themselves. And if them, them expression make them step out of bound to a fair while, then we can tell them, say, yo, they need this is how. We understand where mm-hmm. I come from. Because as parents, sometimes we feel like we own the kids, then we don't own the kids. Mm-hmm. Our kids, but we them. No, Octane, yeah, quickly, like a in, a, in a condensed form, um, congratulations on your weight loss journey. Um, what actually inspired you to, 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 to take on that, that journey to, to, to be a better person? And we see that you're ooze, oozing with confidence through your social media platform, but what propelled your weight loss journey? Because here we go on a cash, because this are the same thing. Because remember, say, me not, me not smoke and me not drink, so I have nothing to block my 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 stress when they come at me. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's a jovial person, I have a smile, but I smile because I'm a natural happy person. But you have a lot of things in the things and in you know, our things that go on, so I process it. So when me start to stop vice regular, me used to just vice regular and just alleviate myself from stress. So me stop vice regular now, then me have to deal with it. And how me deal with it, you know, me have to develop a sweet tooth. I'm going in at time, I'm just eating cornflakes and cheese and watch me eat me. And then me start to swell. You know what I mean? And then me start to say, yo, oh, me I go fall. Oh, me I go get out of this. Oh, me I get out of this. And then me start to wear small. Then me start to wear medium. Then me start to wear large. Then me start to wear XL. Then me start to wear double X. When I'm going to ask you, I start to buy triple X and it's got to 38 and I'm close to I said, no, sir. So stop calling me at rest, I'm calling me fat rest. And then I laugh at the time. And then it started to eat to me. I said, no. And then you find out that the social media thing and the, the following and, and the impact you have started to de because you're not present. You yeah, say yeah, this particular product, you're not present it presentation no more. Mm-hmm. not in line and then one of the main thing though one of the main thing though mr love call my virgin you're a big belly boy a fat belly there yeah boy you're fat so i used to just use the word loosely mm-hmm. you know my farm when we got into that position now that people start to, we start to find out and no people will call it really really take it to art you know because if me just are wear this weight for like two, three years, and people are wear it for them the entire life, just the most mm-hmm. people them feel insecure. So I mm-hmm. started saying, you know what? I'm going to make a change, and I'm going to do it live. I have money, I could have do surgery, I could have do all of this. I could have do a surgery, cut out my belly, do something. But people out there don't have the to do So I said, I'm going to do it live. So that is where I start from. Start doing it live. On the first day, Live, I was 256 pounds. Wow. Five months, five and a half months, I lose 109 pounds without no surgery, 
no pill, nothing. Me just take me just do it. And then me read up on some things. Me have the remedy people and link me. It's free of cost. I can DM me and me get the bonus. I'm here. Me right. come down to see. There's no mm-hmm. other physician or no other diet or nothing ever do that. Nothing in the world. Just Google it. There's, you have a sick for lose that I'm in a sick. 125 wow. months. I'm losing like 30 pounds a month. A month or 29 or so. Wow. And I'm come up with something. Come with something where I'm not really going to say it here. So I'm going link my go. All right, we, D, DM, DM Octane to get the details. But finally, Octane, the road to success is different for everyone. Um, what are some of the factors persons who are on their journey should consider? One thing you should consider on your journey right now, that every other successful person for you should be an inspiration for you. Mm. On the road to success, don't pick the ridicule and next person don't fall while them on the road, while they are successful. Because that, that whatever happening in front of you with the next successful person, those are the methods, that, those are the ingredients you need to survive because they'll come your way too. Wow. Well, Octane. Octane, thank you so much for taking the time out to share your journey. I really wish we had more time, but we definitely have to schedule and do a part two. This is season two, so who knows? Maybe season three, we can link yes, up Octane Kishima. for unfinished business. But thank you unfinished so much. Business. And Kishima, big up yourself. Remember when you just started, I text you and said, so yo, that, that program is nice. Yes, and I'm really because happy. Thank you so nice. much, too. Without even asking if you can interview, become a seat, I'm like, it was, it, it just looked different. You know what I mean? Thank you so much, Octane. Really appreciate it. And thanks for coming on and sharing your journey. Um, I wish you could see the comments. People are absolutely loving it. And, you know, one of the consensus is don't see somebody's life and be envious for what they have because you never know their struggle or what they had to endure. Success is not a destination, it's a journey. Wow, thank you so much, Oxen. We wish you all the best. Oh, if your mindset and riches and wealth, bone and plates, oh, you'll be fine yourself.